In general, the strings from P to Q that pass through states numbered K plus 1 or less can be found recursively by the formula. And again, we can think about this as going from P to Q passing through states numbered K or less, or, there's our union, from P to K plus 1 through states labeled K or less, looping from K plus 1 to itself any number of times, and then going from K plus 1 on to Q. If we number the initial state 0, then the language accepted is the strings starting at 0, going to an accepting state over all possible values of the states. Generally speaking, this will require us to find L, P, Q, K for all combinations of P, Q, and K. This is generally very tedious, but since we can describe it as an algorithm, we can program it into a computer. But let's do it by hand at least once. So let's find the language accepted by this finite automaton. So again, the language will be everything that will take you from 0 to 3, not passing through any state numbered higher than 3. So recursively, we have L033 is... So again, these go from state 0 to 3, not passing through anything higher numbered than 2, from 0 to 3, looping around, and then on to 3. Now, this requires L032, so again, that's going from 0 to 3, not passing through anything higher numbered than 2. So we can go from 0 to 3, not passing through anything higher numbered than 1, or we can go from 0 to 2, loop, and then on to 3. And we also need L332. So again, from 3 to 3, not passing through anything higher numbered than 2. So we go from 3 to 3, not passing through anything higher numbered than 1. From 3 to 2, and loop, then on to 3. And finding these requires... So we have a bunch of LPQ zeros to find. In principle, a finite automaton could have a transition back to the starting point. So L020 passing through states labeled K or less might be a non-empty set of strings. However, for the finite automaton shown, there is no transition back to our starting state, and so L00 k is always the empty set for all k. Note that this is the empty language containing no strings at all, which is different from the empty string lambda, which is a string with no elements. And this is also different from the language containing only the empty string. This distinction is important to keep in mind. So L010, that's from 0 to 1, not passing through anything higher number than 0. That's just A. L020, that's from 0 to 2, not passing through anything higher number than 0, is B. And 030, from 0 to 3, not passing through anything higher number than zero, well, that's the empty language. So remember the difference between the empty language, which contains no strings at all, and the empty string, which is a string that contains no elements. Likewise, L110, from one to one, passing through zero or less, that's A, from one to two, passing through zero or less, that's B, and from 1 to 3, passing through 0 or less, again, there's no way to do that. And we can find the rest. Now, L031, so that's from 0 to 3 through 0 or less, plus union, 0 to 1, loop, and then on to 3. 
So we know 030, that's the empty language. 010, that's A. The loop is A star, and 130 is the empty language. Now, remember, this is the empty set, so the union poses no special challenges. But what about this concatenation A, A star, empty language? Remember, this is the part of our language that takes us along the path from 0 to 1, a loop, and then on to 3. But because that last part is the empty language, this means there's no possible path from 1 to 3 that includes a loop at 1. And so this language, A, A star, empty language, simplifies to just the empty language. And so we have a union of empty sets, which is just going to give us the empty set. Now it's worth pausing here briefly and pointing out that good notation reminds us of something. Note that using the plus notation for union and juxtaposition for concatenation allows us to treat the empty language as a zero. So just as zero plus a is a, and a zero times a is zero, then the empty language plus a string, remember that's just the union of something with the empty set, so it's just whatever the other set is. Meanwhile, if we concatenate with the empty language, we actually get the empty language. Likewise, our empty symbol behaves like a 1. So 1 times a is just a, and if we concatenate with the empty symbol, we just get the symbol that we started with. Likewise, if we want to go from 0 to 2 through 1 or less, that's from 0 to 2 through 0 or less, go to 1, loop, and then on to 2, and filling in our details, Likewise, for L231 we have, and again, we have an empty language concatenated with some string, and that kills off the entire string, and the rest of them. And so after a bunch of work, we find the language that recognizes the rather frightening looking expression, which we could probably simplify. Notice that in both cases, the language accepted by the finite automaton is regular. And this suggests the following. The language accepted by a finite automaton is regular. Since we've done two examples, it must be true. So let's prove it.